Hi everyone, uh, Ottawa guy here. What I want to do today is kind of walk you through what uh, Mindstorm videos that I've put together for the Everstorm that kind of shows you how to take the out of the box Everstorm and uh, add to it and little lessons that I've done. Um, I just wanted to kind of do an update on the video uh, videos, sorry, that I have posted and that's what we're going to do now. So what I will do is just show you my PowerPoint presentation that kind of lays it out. So Basically, what I have done is I've taken the Everstorm. So if you build the Everstorm and want to follow through my videos, it's going to teach you some programming techniques. I do apologize. Sometimes the videos are fairly long, uh, but that's kind of the approach that I decided to do. And like instead of just, uh, you know, posting the programs online and showing you what the program looks like, I kind of walk through how to program and what the techniques are. So hopefully you appreciate that. I plan on doing this kind of tutorial style of programming videos but uh, in my next set of um, tutorials I'll try and shorten them up a little bit so that they're easier to follow and maybe just uh, you know make smaller shorter videos that does less uh, functionality on the robot but you know this um, I had a video up that kind of talked about what the Everstorm projects are but it kind of uh, is outdated so I'm just going to do um, like I said in this video I just want to do a brief introduction on what the eight lessons are that are available on the uh, web page. I think there's actually nine videos, but we'll walk through those together. So I'm just gonna go to the next page and you'll see here that um, the first four videos are basically taking the out of the box Everstorm and adding to it. Uh, the first lesson is an introduction to the Everstorm, the what it does and you know what, what the Everstorm build is. The second lesson is the move and shoot uh, that actually allows you to uh, use the beacon or the infrared remote to move the Everstorm robot around and shoot at the same time, which is something that's not available right out of the box. And what I mean by out of the box is, I mean available in the build when you do your Everstorm. You can go to the Lego Mindstorm kit and follow the instructions on building it. And then this set of videos that I've produced will add on to it. I show you how to create a sound file in lesson three. Lesson four shows how to set the infrared, um, set the sound level using an infrared remote. Uh, lesson five shows you how to set the sound using the beacon, which is by moving your hand further and closer to the, uh, sorry, I just misspoken. The set sound level in lesson four is actually using the infrared um, sensor, on which is the head. By moving your hand closer and further, it's lesson five that shows you how to set the sound level by using the beacon or the infrared remote. Um, the lesson six, putting everything together so that the, uh, the robot has multiple settings where it can walk, talk, shoot at the same time, etc. Tell instructions, that's how you, I show you how to build a bunch of sound files that will show you uh, what your robot will do by pushing on the uh, touch sensor, I believe is what I've used. And then lesson eight, the final one I've kind of done in this series is to have the robot tell a joke. So I'm just gonna pop over to YouTube and show you how to find the videos. Not that you won't already know how, but I just kind of wanted to do a brief inter introduction. So I'm gonna go over here, do a search up on your, YouTube videos for Ottawa guy. I'm, I'm logged out right now, so I'm kind of looking like I'm a regular user. So click on the Ottawa guy link, go to my web page. I'm just going to pause these videos when they start and then go to playlists. Okay. Playlists. You want to do the find the enhancing Everstorm playlist. Click on that and it will take you hopefully to the first video, which I'm going to update actually. This is the old video that's the add-on program list. I'm going to replace this video with the one I'm making right now so that we have a more up-to-date uh, version of what's going on in my playlists. So in the playlist that's called Enhancing Everstorm. So if you look down here, there are nine videos, okay? In total, there's eight lessons and the video that we're making right now which is called the introduction so what's going to happen is this introduction video will be posted up here so you can kind of get a layout on what it is that you can do um, i'm just going to kind of click on each one and just go really quickly through this so lesson one is the introduction on what everstorm is so i'm just going to pause that out i'm not going to really let it start too much but what it does it's going to introduce you to you what le what the everstorm is and how you can go about building it and so that you can uh, start doing some of the programs that i have here so the description here is just a quick introduction. You know, I plan to make a modifications robot. So try and try and build this and then follow my videos. Uh, the next video is lesson two, where I kind of teach you how to move and shoot. 
So this video, let me just drag over a little bit. So as you can see, there's a lot of videos on how, to, like the screen shows you how you're going to program. Which is executed right? to determine whether or not. And at the end, I think I do a demo. Yes, at the end, I do a demo on what it means to be able to move and shoot this robot at the same time. But you'll learn how to program how this thing works. Demo. So basically, that's lesson number two. Now, lesson number three is a preparation towards some of the later lessons that will show you Hi, how to create a sound file in the EverStorm project. If you don't already know how to create a sound file, this will show you how. Um, if you do know how, I kind of give you a couple little tips and tricks on how to create sound files so that you can make the robot say your own sounds. Okay? Uh, that's important because if, as you want the robot to mature um, from a programming perspective and make it talk and tell jokes, you're going to have to learn how to program your own sound files. The Everstorm sound files, sorry, the Lego Mindstorm sound files that come are quite adequate. However, they're mostly robot, you know, based or or uh, sound based that makes sounds like mechanical movements, etc. Uh, maybe some hello, some goodbye, and some mo arming, arm movement sounds, some robotic sounds. They're sufficient, but again, you're going to want to create your own sounds. Uh, one of the things I do talk about in here is that uh, my sounds that are coming out of the robot are quite human sounding, but if you can figure out how to sound more like a robot, like I am a robot, or you can actually use a th synthesizer to record your sound so it sounds more like a robot that would probably be you know a be better experience for anyone that's listening to your robot when it talks but i didn't bother going into that because i want my robot when i'm doing the videos to sound uh to sound recognizable the 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 uh the, the statements that it's making so that's why i just basically use a human sound um lesson four i teach you how to set the sound level on the robot and what i do is i show you how to use the ir sensor which is the, let me just drag forward a little bit. This one, uh, uh, by the way, uh, uh, the first couple of videos or maybe even just the first one, I do the demo at the end, but what I decided to do from now on is, uh, from then on, was to include the demo at the beginning. So this one is actually going to show you how to set the sound level by moving your hand further and closer away to the uh, IR sensor here, the infrared sensor. And what that does is that will kind of show you how to use the IR's proximity settings to uh, relay that into a volume setting, and then you can use the volume setting throughout the uh, throughout this throughout the robot's operation. So that that's kind of fun. Um, that just kind of shows you how to how to use the IR sensor and set some volume so that you know when the robot comes on at 100%. Sometimes it's kind of loud, sometimes it's kind of low. So just being able to fool around this with the settings. Um, this is a 25 minute video because there's a lot in there that you're going to learn. Um, lesson five is similar to lesson four and that I actually show instead of using um, the the IR sensor up here to set the volume, it's actually using the infrared beacon. So the infrared beacon or the remote control is something that uh, you're going to want to use in these robots. Um, a lot of these robots will work autonomously meaning that they go about on their own and they detect objects and back away from it. But uh, the basically, the Everstorm is pretty much remote control operated. And that is why I have included uh, the remote control to control the volume. And it will do other things you'll see in some of the later lessons. Um, in lesson six, I call it putting it all together. And I'm just going to pause it before it starts up. But by putting it all together, I remain... I mean that all remote um, IR remote functions are enabled. The the talking is enabled. The shooting while it moving is enabled. The infrared uh, beacon is turned off for this. Sorry, the infrared sensor isn't used for the volume setting, but the uh, IR remote is. So you'll see in this one that I'm using all three um, channels on the remote to control the, the robot, which is kind of fun. Lesson seven, tell a joke. Now, this is uh, pretty much, oh, sorry, it's not tell a joke. That's not the way, but Hi, everybody. this is the one where I show how the robot can be used to tell instructions to the user. Um, once you start making some modifications to your robot and it gets kind of complex, there is a possibility that you'll kind of forget what does what. Does what. So what I've done is I've shown you in here how to create a bunch of sound files that are basically instructions that can be triggered by pushing on the 
uh, touch sensor here. So anytime I start up the robot, when I want to remember how it works, I'll just push on the touch sensor, okay? And that will trigger the robot to tell the instructions. So it says something like, you know, channel one will move, will control the movement, channel two will control the shooting, and channel three uh, will control the volume, something like that. So that, that's another quick little lesson you can get into. Lesson eight. Now, lesson eight is basically something that I think that most people are interested in. As you can see, it's almost an hour long. Hi, everybody. It's a little bit long. I, I, like I said, I apologize. Some of my videos are long, but what they are is they are walkthrough tutorials that are meant to allow you to go through these things uh, one by one slowly and see what's going on with the programming techniques that I've shown. Uh, I could simply just post the program up there and show you the, the finished program, but that, I, that personally I don't think is gonna teach anybody anything. So I do apologize if you're somebody who wants to just copy programs, but if you really wanna learn how the program works, and what the different settings are, you, you're probably better off just to follow through these. Uh, there's not a lot of instructional videos out there that kind of show you an end-to-end -end where you can learn how to take a robot from like kind of out of the box or the standard build and add a bunch of things to it. So really this final video is kind of a, the ultimate kind of description and it's not very simple actually. There's a lot of steps involved. So that's why this video is kind of long. And you know, I do, again, I apologize to people if they find it too long, but in the end, what I'm trying to do is give kind of an in-depth tutorial on how to use the uh, software to build your own things. So um, if, you, if you like my videos, please, please start giving me some comments. If you want to see something else, I can try and do um, another set of videos. What I do plan on doing actually is to take another, maybe one of the other out-of-the-box uh, builds from Lego and, and, and start doing some more add-ons to that. The Everstorm's nice because it's got the ability to kind of, you know, move around. It, uh, it's got full remote control that allows you to go forwards, backwards, left, right. You know, it turns quickly and it can easily be modified. It's got the sensor, the IR sensor, um, infrared sensor is the head, which allows you to do a little bit more too, because that, that, that's how the, the remote control is, you know, used is that by, by the infrared sensor picking up on the, uh, the beacon. So it, it just really lends itself to be a good robot to program and show people how to use. Uh, I'm looking at it right now, but and I can see that it's got most of the um, sensors on it. So anyways, that is something that I wanted to do was just take an out of the box, uh, build and kind of enhance it and let you guys kind of see some. So if you like my videos, give me some thumbs up, send back some comments. Again, this video that I'm making right now will become the new introduction to the eight lessons. Let me just go quickly back and we'll just quickly go back through. So lesson one, again, the introduction, which is, you know, uh, kind of just telling whatever storm is, move and shoot, allowing you to use the infrared uh, remote. Oh, let me just call it the infrared beacon or the beacon. Actually, to just to be clear, the beacon is actually a, a mode of the um, remote. It's when you turn it on in... Uh, permanently and the robot can kind of find it so technically when you're talking about the remote in remote mode that's how you control the moving and shooting and etc uh, creating the sound file like i said show you how to do that setting the sound with the infrared um, sensor setting the sound with the beacon lesson six putting everything all together so that the remote works all different three different things tell uh, lesson seven is the tell the instructions because I forget when I when I leave and come back after a week what the heck the robot does and then lesson eight um, teaches you how to tell a joke and this is probably the uh, the best lesson people appreciate the most okay so without further ado I'm just going to sign off now uh, good luck going through my channel and uh, please bear with me as I in the near future create another set of videos thank you very much bye bye